Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering Cisco cybersecurity operations, and this is exam 210-255. We're going to cover topic 1.1. Start here. It's highlighted in yellow anyway. Interpret the output report of a malware analysis tool such as AMP, ThreadGrid, and Cuckoo Sandbox. Now what I'm going to try and do all these videos, I'm going to try and do a video for every topic that is going to go through here, through the um, exam descriptions. So, um, okay, so quite a, lot, <laughs> quite a lot of topics here. Cisco ThreadGrid, Advanced Malware Protection or AMP for short. Now Cisco Advanced Malware Protection, AMP, is for networks and AMP for endpoints. They provide mitigation capabilities they do go beyond point in time detection. What they do, uh, AMPs, they use a threat intelligence from Cisco, it's called Talos, to perform a retrospective analysis and protection. Now, Cisco Talos is a security intelligence and research group. It's made out of leading threat researchers. They're supported by sophisticated systems to create a threat intelligence for Cisco products that detect, analyze, and protect against both known and emerging threats. Okay. Now, Cisco Talos is made out of intelligent research group, which they, they gather all the threats around the world and they help everyone that is a Cisco product to, well, mitigate against those threats. Now, Cisco AMP, they also provide a device and file tra trajectory capabilities utilizing firepower to allow the security administrator to analyze the full spectrum of the attack, of an attack. Now you are learning a few things here. First, the, the Cisco has got this threat intelligent research group called Talos. They gather all the all the malware from all around the world and they issue it. Well, they help the Cisco devices, and they do use the firepower. Now, what is the firepower? The firepower, it is the flagship firewall of Cisco. Uh, the Cisco ASA and Firepower Technology together. The Firepower has been, uh, well, Cisco has bought this company called Sourcefire and they combined it to called uh, Firepower. They, they, they use it like a, a next generation firewall, they say as a selling point anyway. The next generation firewall is composed of widely known ASA OS and sof software modules that take care of main next generation functions like application control Intrusion, intrusion protection, and anti-malware and URL filtering. Now, Firepower, not all of us will have access to the Firepower machine. So what we could do, like Cisco has this demo, great demo, which you need to be familiar with Firepower, like the dashboards or, um, well, well where, the, where to click and get this stuff. So anyway, to get there, you need to go to Google and search for Cisco Firepower Management Demo. So we got it there on the here, Cisco Firepower Management Center demo. And you'll get a page like this. And uh, well, then you can choose which, which kind of demo you want to use. You might need to log on. So you do need a Cisco account. You probably have that already. And then you get the Firepower. This is the dashboard of the Firepower. So here, for example, you see them. Anyway, I'll let you yourself go through them, but you pretty much need to be a bit familiar with this, like on the policies, what do we get, and uh, devices, objects, and so on. So anyway, it has, it has a few demos that you can do here. You can go um, hyper virtualization, mitigate mitigate and prevent attacks. This is the, what actually I use anyway to get familiar with the firepower. If you have the real device at hand, that will be even better. But if you don't, then get familiar with the firepower dashboard or Firepower Management Console. So, Cisco ThreadGrid, um, the network file trajectory feature, the network file trajectory feature maps host transfer files, including malware files across your network. So network trajectory, what happens is like, you can see where did the malware enter your network? What is the IP address of the malware where what pc got that malware and how was it spread around your network so you can determine which host may have transferred malware which hosts are at risk and observe file transfer trends the page also contains a search box that also that lets you locate file based on the sha 256 hash value 
of file name or by an IP address of that host that transferred or received the file. Great thing, if I go back, you can see like, okay, well, the malware entered this malware, entered this IP address, and then that's how it got spread. And pretty much you will see all the, compu all the computers that got infected. A good thing, you can find it on the demo as well. So Threat Grid combines advanced sandboxing with a threat intelligence into one unified solution to pro protect organization from malware. This is, uh, this is now what they're saying about the beyond in time protection. So it provides comprehensive protection for organization across the attack continuum. So before an attack, so AMP uses a global threat intelligence, like we said earlier, Cisco Talos Security Intelligence and Research Group, and Threat Grid Threat Intelligence feed to strengthen defenses and protect against known and emerging threats. So before an attack, you have your devices, they're gonna be connected to Talos, and they will receive all the any any problems or any any malware going around the world while well, you'll receive their protection. If if there is an attack, so during an attack, AMP uses the intelligent coupled with a known file signature and Cisco Threat Grid dynamic malware analysis tool uh, analysis technology. It identifies and blocks policy violating files types and exploit attempts as well as malicious files. So for example, so before an attack, you get all the protection, but for some reason, if there's an attack and that you, do, you don't have that protection for Talos, you can send that those files for Talos and Talos as well will work with you to create a protection. So after an attack, the solution goes beyond point in time detection capabilities and continuously monitor and analyzes the file activity and traffic. Now sandbox. Sandboxing is a technique that allows suspicious files to be executed and analyzed in a safe environment, safe environment, i.e. virtual VMware virtual machine and virtual box. For example, what's happening here is say that we do have a file and that we want to test that file that well, it hasn't got any virus or anything like that. We can run it in the sandbox or we can run it on the virtual machine, which we don't have to actually expose our physical machine towards that file that we're not so sure about it. This tool observes the effect of running known malware so that the features of malware behavior can be determined then used to create defenses. With a robust context-rich malware knowledge, you will be in understanding what malware is doing or attempting to do, how large a threat it poses and how to defend against the malware. So for example, you, you get a malware and you want to see what's happening, what does it do. Instead of just running it in your, in your production, you might as well run it on the sandbox, on the virtual environment, and then you can check what's happening and how it does it. So Cuckoo Sandbox is a matter of, in a matter of seconds, provides the detailed results on the, what, what the file is, does within, within the isolated environment. This helps the, uh, with the malware analysis and understanding what it's exactly trying to achieve. Further, analy further analysis can be done based on the previous action that were done. Cuckoo Sandbox is commonly used for digital forensics or malware analysis. The Cuckoo host component is completely written in Python, so it does require that a proper Python be installed. And Cuckoo Sandbox is a free malware analysis system sandbox. It can be run locally and have malware sampled submitted to it for analysis. Thank you for watching this section. Interpret the output report of malware analysis tools such as AMP Thread Grid and Cuckoo Sandbox. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye bye.